Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Neha and today we are going to discuss about ARP that is Address Resolution Protocol. So ARP resolves physical address that is your MAC address on the basis of logical address that is IP address. It works on layer 2. ARP uses two types of messages to find the MAC address. And those two types of messages are ARP request and ARP response. So ARP request is always broadcast and ARP response is always unicast. ARP request is only generated for the devices which is in the same network. Let's say for an example, we have two machine, machine A and machine B. The IP address of machine A is 10.1.1.1 and IP address of machine B is 192.1.1.1. Both the machines are in different network. So machine A will not be able to generate ARP request for machine B because they are in different network. So this is the basic understanding of ARP. Moving ahead, there are four types of ARP. Inverse ARP, Reverse ARP, Proxy ARP and Gratuitous ARP. So we will be discussing about the types of ARP in detail in our next video. First we will understand the process of how ARP works. Let's say we have two machines, machine A and machine B. They are connected with the help of a cable and IP address of machine A is 10.1.1 and its MAC address is 0A and IP address of machine B is 10.1.1.2 and its MAC address is 0B. So at every interface ARP table is maintained and ARP table has the information of its own IP and MAC address. So machine A and machine B both will maintain their ARP table. In Windows operating system, machine will not have the information of its IP and its MAC address. But in case of Cisco devices, it will have the information of its IP and MAC address. Now we will discuss about how the communication will take place between machine A and machine B. So to communicate with machine B, machine A should have the MAC address of machine B. And for that, machine A will generate ARP request message which will contain source IP, source MAC, destination IP, destination MAC and opcode. If the opcode will be 1, it means it is an ARP request. And if opcode will be 2, that means it is an ARP response. Now this ARP request message will be handed over at layer 2 to ARPA protocol. Now ARPA protocol will receive a payload that is ARP request message. Now ARPA protocol will attach an Ethernet header to that where source MAC will be 0A destination MAC will be broadcast that is all F. Whenever R protocol hand over ARP request to ARPA protocol, ARPA protocol will add destination MAC as broadcast that is all F. And type field will be the type code of ARP protocol because ARP protocol gave the payload information or the ARP request or ARP request message information. So after adding the Ethernet header to the ARP request, the complete information will be called as frame. And frame will be handed over at layer 1 to Ethernet card by ARPA protocol. So Ethernet card or LAN card works at layer 1. LAN card will convert 
the frame information into bits that is in the form of 0 and 1 or we call it as binary code. So, bits will be placed at physical media. Now, bits will be received at the other end of the LAN card. Now, what LAN card will do? It will convert these bits into frame and frame will be further handed over to ARPA protocol at layer 2. So, ARPA protocol will remove the Ethernet header and it will check that the destination MAC is all F that is broadcast which means this message is for all. Now machine B will accept that and the remaining message will be handed over to ARP protocol at layer 2. The reason it will be handed over to ARP protocol is be because its type field is 0x0806 which is of ARP. Now ARP protocol will decapsulate the ARP message. It will check that the opcode is 1 which means it is an ARP request. And this ARP request has been sent by the source IP which is 10.1.1.1 and whose MAC address is 0A. And this information has been sent for 10.1.1.2 which is our destination IP. So, machine B will accept that information. Now, ARP protocol will know that 10.1.1.1 whose MAC is 0A has sent the ARP request okay, and it is looking for the MAC address of 10.1.1.2. Now ARP protocol is responsible to update this information in its ARP table dynamically. Now machine B has updated its ARP table. Now ARP protocol will give the ARP reply in which our source IP will be now this will be our source IP which is 10.1.1.2 and the destination IP will be 10.1.1.1 its source MAC is 0B now this time our protocol knows that the destination MAC is 0A and the opcode will be 02 because it is ARP reply now ARP protocol will generate ARP reply and hand it over to ARPA protocol at layer 2. Now ARPA protocol will add Ethernet header which includes source MAC, destination MAC and type field which will be of ARP that is 0x0806. Now this whole information will be called as frame. Now ARP protocol will hand over the frame to Ethernet card at layer 1 and Ethernet card will convert that information into bits that is in the form of 0 and 1 and it will place those bits at physical media. Now machine A will receive bits at LAN card and it will convert them into frames and hand it over to ARPA protocol at layer 2. Moving forward, ARPA will remove the Ethernet header and check the destination MAC that is 0A. So, it will accept that and the remaining payload will be handed over to ARP protocol. Now, ARP protocol will check the opcode which is 02 which means it is ARP response. Now it will check the destination IP which is 10.1.1.1 which is of its own. So it will accept that the sender's IP is 10.1.1.2 whose MAC is 0B. So now ARP protocol will update the MAC address in its ARP table. Now machine A has the MAC information of machine B and machine B has the MAC information of machine A. So now machine A will be able to communicate with machine B. So this is the process or this is how you can say ARP works in a nutshell. 
so that is it for today in our next video we will be discussing about the types of arp and icmp so i hope you like this video if you do then please like this video and share this with your friends and colleagues and do not forget to subscribe this channel and press the bell icon so that you can receive the notification of our next videos thank you for watching